Welcome back to Smithsonian's Museum in Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States of America. Today, we going to visit the Smithsonian's oldest museum. It has over 155 million artifacts and a specimen uh, on over around the world. So that's it, the Smithsonian Museum. The oldest, it looks like a church. Yep. But it is the oldest one in Washington, D.C. And last time we visit the Natural History Museum. The National History Museum um, last week, last time. And I believe I upload the video uh, this week. So I am ready to go in. Welcome to Smithsonian Visitor Center. Beautiful flowers everywhere. This way. That way. Beautiful uh, architect. That beautiful building, just like a church. Over there is a carousel. Beautiful garden in the front. Very, very nice. Where is the main entrance? The main entrance to the building. The main entrance? Yes. Around there. In the front? You mean where the, uh, to go into the... Go Welcome to the Catherine Doolan Rose Garden. Ah, oh, what a beautiful garden. Wow. Let's go this side. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at this architect. Wow. It's like in Europe or something. Wow. Look at this. Nice, very nice structures. <laughs> Wanna look at the outside a little bit before we go inside. Oh, this is supposed to be the oldest uh, Smithsonian building in Washington, D.C. Look! They have a table outside for people to sit and enjoy the nice day. Look at that. Wow. Alright, let's go that way, Justin. Oh, look at these structures. Beautiful. Go straight here. Oh, I gotta take this one. Spencer Fullerton 
1823 to 1887, second secretary of Smithsonian Institute, pioneer in America, natural history. Beautiful building. That's another beautiful view of the castle. From this angle. So many uh, garden. All right. Just moving on. It's beautiful, well kept garden, everyone. Oh, there's a sculpture over there. Oh, interesting. This at the fountain garden. Among many many other garden. Wow, oh, look at these magnificent oh, garden in front of me. Beautiful. So I guess we can enter through that gate. Ah, oh, beautiful structure. It truly is look like a castle. Is that the Wow, oh, these are beautiful. Just beautiful. Very nice, very nice. So there's like multiple buildings or castles. <laughs> yep, the garden is beautiful. What is this white leaf? It's like the leaf is white. That is the monument, everyone, in the distance. Yep, that is the monument. Beautiful monument in the distance. Not far away. It's another nice building over there. So I'm about to enter the building, the museum, and uh, just talk to somebody coming out and they say it's really nice inside. So, please follow me. Oh, what is this flower? It's beautiful, beautiful flowers. Yep, beautiful flowers. Don't know what kind, but it is beautiful. Alright, 
Will you follow us to inside of the museum? Beautiful flower, everyone. Fits your eye, beautiful flower. Oh. oh my goodness. Beautiful flowers. We have lily. More lilies. Tiger lilies. And uh, yep. It's just beautiful around here. That's all I can say. This place is very well kept. Very well kept. Oh, I gotta take a picture of this castle. This magnificent castle. Right in front of my eye. Oh, very beautiful. Welcome to Smithsonian Dillon Ripley Center. That's what it is. Huh. It's beautiful, beautiful. Lots of tourists out here, everywhere on the streets of uh, DC. Beautiful landscaping. Welcome to Smithsonian Museum. So this is the gift shops on my left and the cafe uh, for the selling food and drink on my right. And um, they have three or six different rooms. They have a Warren Brothers Theaters, uh, Sweet Home Cafe, Lockett Martin IMAX Theater, uh, Tropical Gardens, and the Peacock Room. Wow, we have a lot. So let's uh, let's shall we move on? Let's start with that room. It looks like a, a giant's Wow, so these are the wallpaper paper, uh, Popular wallpaper that been using for three over three century uh, It's called well-dressed wall It's like a cathedral in here. Welcome to your Smithsonian's. It was a gift from 18th century. English scientist James Smithson who left his fortune to the United States 
a country he had never seen. Focusing on a research, museum, art, culture, history, and science. It's called the Castle of Curiosity. It have over 150 million artifacts and species around the world. No research can be undertaken without producing some facts leading to consequence would extend beyond the boundary of immediate objects. It is only through great museum which can offer hope to include all departments which can encourage growth in every direction. <laughs> the ceiling is beautiful. It's like a it's like a cathedral. Ceiling is gorgeous. Wow, this is a really ancient porcelain from Paris. It's one of the Smithsonian collections in the 18th century or 17th century. It's so French. Wow, would you look at that? It's from floor to ceiling full of artifacts. Of arts, history, of science, and cultures around the world. Beautiful. Yep, this is supposed to be the oldest building, Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. And look at all the uh, cathedral uh, look-alike uh, windows and ceilings. Wow! Let's say right here, building America. America National Collection 175 year of collecting over the last 175 year uh, we've been um, collecting and searching and help people understand cultures and in our country and around the world. Work of art from work of art to living plants and animal and then historical and scientific material surround a study of the world, cultural and natural heritage throughout 21st century. 
It documents our history, diversity, ideals, and value through donations over the year. Mm-mm-mm. These are real animal, preserved animal that hanging on the wall from these ships. So the geese and the birds. And the shuttles, everything. Cougar, we have the cougar, preserve cougars. Oh, wow. It's like staring down at me. And it looks so real. Wow, look at that cougar. It's beautiful here, everyone. I mean, you have to have time. You need time to look and read every single artifact of every single object in this museum. I mean... And that peacock? Is there a peacock? I just love the architect of this building. It's just like the Vatican, I swear, it's just like the Vatican. Inside of the the Vatican's. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna move on to the next room. Standing Buddha statues that date back to 7th and 8th century in Thailand. That's pretty old. Mm -hmm. And this one date back in 12th century in Cambodia. Buddha blessed. This is the very first electric guitar. It was invented back in the 50. It became American classic. It was introduced in 1952. Wow. That's around Elvis time, I guess. First electric guitar. And this is the dollar bill, not just any dollar bill, but the dollar bill that was signed by the Apollo 15 astronaut. And it was carried with them aboard the spacecraft Endeavor. Wow a gift from National Airspace Museum. So these dollar bill have all of the astronaut signatures on it. How special could that be? Wow. Very special. Yep.
this dollar bill was signed by all the Apollo 15 astronauts and carried with them aboard a spacecraft on the Earth. Very, very nice. And this is the oldest um, stamp from America Postal Service. This register mail um, was dated back in um, early 20th century for eight cents each. Nineteen twenty. 100 years ago, exactly. And these are all the old stamps. And <laughs> and this is what it looked like. Uh, the old postal service truck. It's a horse carriage. <laughs> That is so cool. <laughs> That's how people deliver mail in the old day. And this is Caesar Sum by in bronze. <laughs> it was a gift from the French. Nineteen twenty one again one hundred years ago. Caesar thumb. <laughs> and this is another very old photo of the postal worker back in the um, I guess nineteenth century. They are the heart in, of America. They deliver mail from coast to coast with their wearing their honor service badge. Yep. These are their honor service badge. And this is the march on Washington Monument for jobs and racial equality back in 1963. And this is the earrings from singer um, Lena Horn. After World War II, and that's Lena Horn. And this is the door. It's a piece of the African arts. It's a carved door. It's um, created back in 1935 at the um, African Art Museum, Modern Arts. And this is a, um, a piece of art from Imperial Hotel, Tokyo, Japan. It was created or designed back in 1922, porcelain. And these are the uh, helmets.
three-time world champions, Jackie Stewart. And um, skating shoes and helmets of all the uh, famous hockey player back in the um, 70s all throughout the 90s. Figure skating. And this is the giant's bird eating tarantula. Yep. This bird eating giant tarantula is found in North and South Africa. America and it was captive uh, in and spent many years in the um, insect zoo. And this is the largest coconut found in Indian Ocean. It's the largest and heaviest. It weighed up to 44 pounds. And this is the standing nude like sculpture of a Parisian woman back in 1950. It's a bronze figure. This one is a incense burner shaped like a crocodile. It was uh, created in Nicaragua Islands in the 14, 13th, 14th centuries. Wow, this is a full pressure helmet that was worn by the military back in um, 1934, 35 during the World War II. So these helmets is wear by the USA uh, Air Force. This one right here. And this is the helmets, full pressure helmets. With special oxygen system that could accommodate earphone and microphone. Last but not least, this is the Apollo, Apollo Lunar Sample Return Container. So they use this container to protect rock sample from the moon, from contaminations or physical damage during the trip, return trip to Earth. This is the 
container with all the moon rocks. So I just finished recording this room and I'm moving on to the next room. Just thought I'd take one last look of this chamber before moving on to the next one. Love the cathedral ceiling everyone, loving it. Shall we move on, Justin? I'm leaving this room, the cathedral, I call it. Oh! This is the vase from China. It's supposed to be date back in 1700s. It's uh, designed with roses. With the um, handle on its side represent um, section of bamboo and it cover with different color rows beautiful isn't it absolutely beautiful and it have birds on its side too gorgeous This is the mirror. 1860 mirror. With angels carving on underside of the um, a candle hander. Candle hand handle. This is another vase from China. So we're gonna head to the cafe shops and gift shop to get some uh, 
refreshment and some snack. It's a very beautiful building, very clean and well kept. Definitely. This is their little cafeteria. And the gift shops. It's just a beautiful building with the uh, cathedral ceiling. It's uh, it's like, yeah, it's like. In Europe, or that's why they call it castle, I guess, because it does look like a castle from the inside. And that's all right. Let's go and see if we have some snack or refreshment. Just you want to take a look at the uh, gift shops a little bit? It's not big. Welcome to the Castle Cafe. They have coffee, espresso, cappuccinos, vanilla latte, tea, different flavor tea, coffee, chocolates, cookies, and other snack. Beautiful. Yep, they're closing soon, Justin. So they have a lot of cookies and nuts mix. Danish soda. Okay, it's all right. It's all good. I'll see you. Uh, I don't know when the next time we can come back. This is our second time back this summer. Last time we were across the street, the uh, National uh, uh, Natural History Museum. Yeah. So. Are you returning? No. I want to take you for a quick. Look of the gift shops. Smithsonian Institute t shirts. Look around, Justin, look around. And calendar with Capitol Hill in the front. More t shirt of Washington, D.C., and a monument in the Capitol Hill. If you like this stuff, you should go to Luray Cavern in West Virginia. Mm. They have it's, all sorts of stuff. It's like only that. an hour away. Yeah, Luray mm. Cavern. Uh, I forgot how much the ticket, but it's not much. But you can stay in there for as long as you like. And, and it's they like, have all this kind of cool stuff. I do. I love. They dogs. have a gift <laughs> shop, but but you the best part is you go down to the cave. Oh, you get to see. Oh God, all that the formations. Loray Cavern, okay, the best in Virginia. Loray, that's okay. like right up They have line. three three caverns, but that was the biggest one. Huh. Yeah, they have a Skyline Cavern and the other one, I forgot, <laughs> Shenandoah Cavern. Yeah, but, Shenandoah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but Loray is the best one. Definitely yeah. recommend. I was there uh, back in June. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I do, I love rocks. I have them all over the Oh, yeah, the, the gift <laughs> shop, they have tons of this stuff. Justin, do you still love rock, Justin? I remember I got you a whole bunch of this stuff. <laughs> Always cool. Yeah, I used to, I, I, I put in a bag of so. this and amethyst. And they dissect this into small sections. It's so beautiful. A necklace, all kind of necklace. Oh, I like all the saying on the t-shirt over there, just <laughs> Oh, look at the map for you has carved out a wooden, carved into like a wooden map. That's cool. That is so cool. I like the saying in this t-shirt to say, failure is not an option. I like that. Very much. Yep. The 
this is good quote very good quote so these are all uh, souvenir I guess they have this from space airspace museum too <laughs> space suits that's a space suit two helmets and little astronaut teddy bear <laughs> it's cute NASA cups, NASA cuppies, and logos, logo blocks, and keychain, and the uh, space shuttles, the mini space shuttles, an astronaut ice cream, that is the astronaut ice cream. Look at all this jewelry that carved out of the amethyst. The purple rock. Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Look at all that beautiful, colorful necklace and, and bracelets. And... Wow, look at all this. Uh, Bows and wow, even the dice are carved out of it, looks like marble, but I don't think it is. Look at all the pyramid and chessboard, too. The fun turtle, all this little figure, this carp, out of it's like marble, beautiful. Lots of t-shirts, a lot of t-shirts. How much is it just looking good for? And drop the pen. Oh, you still look up the price? Cherry Blossom Panda T-shirt. That's very cute. Wow. Rock candy. <laughs> yep, Justin wanted to get a fossils. So I'm getting him a fossils. A lot of stuff around here. This is the book of displays, the castles. This complete our tour of the Smithsonian castles. Museum. Hope you enjoy the video, everyone. The next time. This is the uh, Eastern Island stone figures. South Pacific.
this is the uh, gift shops of the uh, National Museum of Natural History. Wow, look at all this. More fossil and more rocks. And dinosaurs. Fossils and bones. Oh, night lights. Beautiful night lights. Beautiful stones. Books. Jewelries. Oh, wow. Kimono. Beautiful kimono. Mm. T shirts. Look at that. Look at this a bird feeder. Beautiful handmade bird feeder. Very nice handmade bird feeders. Oh, shark t shirts. <laughs> That's cool, shark t shirts. Shark bags. Make a <laughs> From National Museum of Natural History. Make our short teeth. T-shirts. Always be yourself unless you can be a T-Rex. I like that. <laughs> Always be yourself unless you can be a T-Rex. Reach for the star. Oh, I like that. Reach for the star. I am unstoppable. <laughs> I like that. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. So much souvenir. And uh, section <laughs> T Rex backpack. Dinosaur purse. Glittering purse. T-Rex t-shirt that glow in the dark. 
here I think that's enough for the gift shop okay it's getting too crowded time to head out and uh, protect my home that's another nice t-shirt We are all connected to the ocean. Yes, we are. That's Vietnam. From fishing to Swimming to boating, we are connected to the ocean. Indeed. Indeed. This concludes our visit to the museum in Washington DC. Thank you for watching everyone. Till next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful summer. Uh, so this is outside of the museum. Beautiful day. A lot of people sitting out here having their snack, refreshment. There's a lot of ice cream, hot dog stand, or food truck right in front of the museum, as you can see. So we just came back from that building, the Smithsonian Castle. Just came from there. And we
which is facing the other museum. The National Museum of Natural History. They're facing each other. Back to back. Look at all this ice cream truck and the trash man right outside. The museum. As you can see, there's a line to get in here. 